Hello everyone and welcome to Indus Business School. It's my honor and privilege that today we have with us Mrs. Vinita Date, Chairperson EC. Hello ma'am. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. So how was your coming here? Same with us ma'am. How was your session today? Session I thought went very well and I'm hoping that the students got inspired by what we're going to tell them to save the environment. and hoping that they actually do something so ma'am my question is pertaining to that only that you have been talking and you have shared your experience that at student level they all are students so if they want to contribute and be part of this great initiative what they can do apart from money if you can just throw some light on this so as uh, pc does not expect any money or any funding or donation from students or colleges or schools uh, what we expect is participation So, for example, if we have cleaning drives, or if we have e-waste collection drives, plastic collection drives, or if we have plantation drives where your college students are uh, yes. already participated and got certificates for it, so we would like to. Um, what we do is we inform the college, and then they can participate in these. Uh, they could also come to visit the solar project which we've done, so they can come and see how. The solar lights and mobile charging points are affecting the communities, and how they are helping the communities. So, and they can also do some uh, data research okay. in areas uh, or in tribal areas, or even in the villages where they come from, a city. What is needed and what can be done. That's great, ma'am. That's really great because. uh you know at student level where they don't have money they are thinking that they are dependent on their parents they are not financially independent but still you know your organization uh, organization is offering a platform and various options through which they can contribute to the society okay this is something which they can do uh, and feel good about yes they are doing something in their life right for the environment or for somebody else other than themselves True, very true. If you look at it that way, then I think it's very rewarding for anyone. Yes, uh, ma'am. Briefly, could you just talk about your journey, like doing, and how are you feeling today at this point in your life? So briefly, you could just share, and you know, inspire the others. So, uh, I all my schooling was uh, all over India because my father was in the defence. So experiences are from. Uh, Not east, not much west, but of course Pune. We were in Pune, yes. not Pune in the central region. Southern India we didn't really see that much, but it was mainly east, north, and west. Um, did schooling then, and college was here in Pune. And after that, um, got married, and then my husband was transferred to UK. Okay. So I done my graduation in chemistry, and I went there and I did my masters and. First, I did the postgraduate certificate of education. You need that to teach you. Then I did the masters, and then uh, started teaching in secondary schools. So, uh, and my passion has always been uh, biodiversity, plants, okay. animals, wildlife, and uh, I mean, like little stories which I can tell you. Like since I was small, I was always trying. You know, if you found a crow, baby crow, or a baby squirrel somewhere, you're always trying to keep it alive. True. And then. Release it again into the wild. So this passion about uh, biodiversity and wildlife has always been there. And then in UK, um, also we started. I mean, you won't believe it, but there is still some rubbish around there. So we used to take the schools out, okay, uh, on a cleaning program, and uh, not necessarily far away, but just the surrounding areas. And that's what we want the school kids or college kids to do here. So you maintain your own areas. And we tell also the uh, citizens that just maintain the area around you. Um, so that's what. And then I came here in two thousand eleven. So we were in uh, UK for twenty two years. Came here in two thousand eleven and met our um, founder, late Mr. Patu. Uh, that was also when I was cleaning. So he saw me cleaning. He said, "What are you doing?" So I explained to him that we need to really do this. Uh, so he said, "Okay, we join our plan." Uh, the NGO was already there, but it was not registered. Okay. So it got registered in 2011, and then um, I managed to get all the certifications because that's what we needed. Um, and all the CSR funding is uh, that is also my area where I try and get CSR funding for okay. projects. 
And the other voluntary things are without any funding, obviously, we get our team leaders um, who are really passionate and committed, totally committed to the environment. In fact, some of them even more than me. So they are an inspiration. And the uh, main aim is to spread awareness about them. And that's what I hope to achieve before I think I'm a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am, you are already doing a great job. And you are inspiring young minds who have met the students of our institute today. So it was really a pleasure talking to you, ma'am. And thank you for all the input that you have given to your students. Thank you so much, and I'm hoping that they all uh, also get motivated and do something for them. Definitely, ma'am. It will help their, their, it will help themselves and their future generations.